Hey guys, how are you all? Welcome again. Myself as toast. Now I'm going to review the second problem. What's the second problem? Second problem say that uh, problem stated me write a function to insert a node at the nth position from the beginning. Okay, let me just copy this and uh, paste it my whiteboard where I can explain you there. So this is the problem statement you can see guys. So what is statement say? Write a function. First of all, we have to write a function to insert a node at the nth position from the beginning of a length list. Okay. You can see it. Remember this thing, nth position. So you have to insert at nth position and then similarly delete a node from nth position and then printing, print it by validating. Okay. So what could be the approach of this problem? So you can understand from this problem that this is actually a linked list, linked list problem. So suppose the uh, linked list, you know all, you all know about linked list. Uh, suppose there is five nodes in a linked list. We will have a one head pointer which will contain the beginning of the linked list, which will have the value of 10 here. Okay, so you, you all know about simple, the basic structure of singly linked list. Okay, so what this problem statement say? First statement say is that insert at nth position. When nth position will be given you, will be given, and we have to insert the node here. Insert node. So we have to insert a node here. So how are we gonna approach this problem? Okay, think about the logic. So first of all, uh, for nth position we know uh, we have to have, we have to know the position. So for that purpose, uh, I will uh, declare some one variable like uh, initializing array, indexing. Okay, so it will one, two, something like that. So if we are not actually doing it, but we are assuming it like this. Okay, so there are five nodes. So first of all, we will design a function. Okay, void insert. What will be? And we will pass two agreement. First of all, we will data which data we want to insert, and second of all, the position. Okay, where we want to insert the node. So how are we gonna achieve that? So first of all. Uh, when a new node will be created, okay, we'll write some code of creating new node, okay, creating new node code, code will be here. So new node will be created, okay, and uh, after that new node created, suppose the node will be like this, a new node will be created, suppose n, 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 w, and which will have some value, will have some value, and which will have some at null. So how we gonna, suppose the value is uh, 20. So how we gonna store, uh, how we gonna insert at n at question. So we will just uh, firstly, Take the take you uh, take the position from your suppose here in third three. So we have to insert the um, element with the nth position from beginning. From beginning, we have to place the element. Means element should be placed in between two and three. From beginning, it is being counted. Okay. So this element have to be print. Uh, means uh, this uh, element have to be inserted here. So how are we gonna achieve this? So first of all, uh, you all notice the so firstly we have to traverse through the list. And reach to the n minus one node where we want to insert. Okay, so we have to reach to. So we will run a loop loop for that. So for int i suppose I declare on variable i zero and i less than n minus two. So it will reach up to n minus one. So n minus one will be reach this minute. We will reach to this node. Okay, and increment i. So then then what you have to do? Then uh, first of all, uh, <coughs> uh, we we have to do this operation in such a way that we not we will not uh, we should not and lost the uh, remaining list we have to perform in such a manner so for how what can we do approach uh, what there can be many ways to do to just uh, uh, keep in mind that whichever way you apply you always choose that the pointer is not lost so we'll traverse to this node first and then after that we reach n minus one node then what will you do there can be base condition we have to check for the base condition first of all let's understand how we want to insert this node so for inserting this node in this uh, between those two and three nodes suppose the n equal to three here means is position we are past three, so how are we gonna do that? So first of all, we can declare temp temp variable and store the data, or we can do in a smart way that uh, just uh, first of all, um, no, it's it's value null. So if you insert something, it will not make any harm. So we'll insert here. We'll we have traversed through this list. Okay, so t of we will be at this node. Okay, if you use pointer here t. So t of next. Uh, so uh, new node next, but n w can n w's next. We will put data of t of next suppose we uh, position to this t of next means this data, data t of next so i'm just showing a rough rough idea so it will it will now contain the address of this node so it will now going to point this node this will point this node okay and it will have 30 now so now this is been joined now now what one more thing is to do we have to put the address of this node suppose this address is 15 in address of t t's of next node so so that it could point this node okay so now uh, since this data is saved by this node the connection is not uh, the connection is not lost so we can perform another operation is like t of next equal to new node so in this way 
this will point to this and this node will be inserted here okay so this is the basic logic so clear to you all and one more thing we have to do is we have to delete the node also so we will see later the just let me just show you the code of inserting first okay by reviewing the code which i have written so the code will be yeah this is the code you can see guys and uh, this is using class node to declare uh, the structure uh, the nodes and there is class node for declaring the uh, link list part okay so if it is not uh, that uh, you know tough and now after in going to link list function and link list class you just initialize the constructor okay and, and slash head equal to null with uh, member variable member now we have to insert function look at insert function here so so there is no error in this insert function it's pretty cool code and very smart way to do it i appreciate the code that uh, just create a one new node and insert a new node it is for the creating the new node part okay now if head equal to node this to handle the base condition then just insert the new node in the head and point to make it make make the head point to it all else can be got or else a uh, new node next will be the head and head equal to new node means new node of next will contain the address of head means it is inserting we are inserting from the beginning so in, you can understand that though we are not traversing the list so we are inserting it inserting a node at the beginning it's just a simple insert node okay we are, i haven't explained you though uh, inserted and it not question I'm just giving you about the. I'm describing this and insert function here. So this will just insert the node at the beginning. Okay. So what will it do? New node of next. I mean new node of next put the hello of head. So head will now point to the head will have the address of new node and head head equal to new node means it will now point to new node. Okay. This is the way we are doing it. So uh, if you don't understand the code, let me just dry run it for you guys. Okay, three node. Just construct only three nodes. So suppose now new node is created. Okay. So what this logic is doing? Let me see it is true, uh, correct or not. So suppose minus one we want to insert a new node here address of fifteen. So new node, uh, new node of next equal to head. New node of next means head. So this is the head pointer here, which will have ten value. So new node of next will value have the value of head means uh, ten will it? It will store ten here. Okay, got it. Restore ten here means this node is pointing to this node now, and head equal to new node means head will have now fifteen value. So fifteen will be stored here. So in this way, the it is insert from the beginning. Okay, so it is at inserted at the beginning now. So hope it is clear to you guys now. Let me review the uh, inserted and it position. So we we'll ask the for the data and ask for the pointers. Now new node created data created. Okay, so now n equal to one means uh, if the position is placed at first position if now if we uh, user want to insert from the beginning um from the beginning okay position is inserted one so new node of next will be head and uh, head equal to new node and then we will return so this code is pretty much clear okay uh, no no error is there and uh, right in excellent way appreciate it um so new node next it uh, equal to head new node of next will contain head and head equal to new node it's similar to the function use i we have shown uh, the insert at beginning okay so now moving on let me see the the uh, what i have explained you there just create one temporary variable here okay and then uh, run the loop to n minus 1 and just uh, move the pointer and when we reach the node we will do the logic which i have explained here okay so it is doing do, uh, it is done in a different manner okay i have done in different manner so nobody you can design your own logic too just you have to understand the gist of the logic now let me also show you that the logic so suppose there are linked list okay So now new node of next means if a, a new node is created, suppose the new node is created, okay, and uh, it have some minus one suppose and null. So new node of next means this next will contain a temp two of next. So temp two of next now have pointed to this value. Uh, suppose we want to insert after two means uh, suppose we choose the value three. So from the beginning it will insert before the index three. So it will insert it here. So three value suppose we have chosen n equal to three, okay. And so pointer will be end at n equal to n minus one. So pointer will end at two. So uh, temp two will be equal to fifth address of this address only. Okay, this is twenty. This is fifteen. This is null. So it will have fifteen point to this. So address and okay, this is address. So temp two uh, node of next will be temp two of next. Temp two of next fifteen of next is what? So next is twenty. So it will have the twenty means it will now pointing to this. Okay, and this value become twenty now. Okay. So now and again in the next step, temp of next is equal to new node. Temp two of next, temp two of next, temp two is fifteen. So fifteen of next is this equal to new node. So it, it suppose this address has fifty-one uh, something, so it will have now fifty-one here. 
okay so in this way it is being inserted between without a loss of the, this pointer okay so this is very essential hope it is clear to you guys so code is very good excellent code okay let me just uh, okay so this is this one pretty much everything uh, so this will just just print print function okay and print the data so you there is missing one thing the code also say that uh, just a function to delete no node you have to declare a function for deleting the node also but in this case and uh, no delete function is being provided so uh, so this is the shortcoming of this code okay there is no delete function here okay everything and rest everything is fine so now i will show you my delete function to end my code also and conclude the conclude this video okay so you can see this code okay remember forget this thing you can see the node is created and now new nucleus created and insert node just a function of insert node here okay nothing more and uh, so insert at any position uh, i have done it in a different way okay here you can see that i have done yeah it is similar way so no i haven't made any change so it is same but this function was not given okay so this had to be performed deletion must be performed this have to perform so we have to perform the deletion here so this is the code for deletion uh, we are just traversing uh, first of all uh, we have to find the length of the length list what is the size of length list uh, because without knowing the size suppose you users have uh, uh, entered some value 10 and our link list size is only 5 so in this case the we will not able to we will not be able to you know we will not be able to delete that node because this address will be not present in that node so we have to check this condition okay so you can you hope you are understanding and if this if the if the value which is we are founding that is greater than the value of size of the loop a uh, size of the link list so then after uh, then we will just print out of range and return because we cannot perform deletion which is which, which is not present which can, we cannot delete a node which is uh, which is not present in the link itself so what we have to do if there is no case if if this is not the case and uh, if, suppose that there are more than one node and we are selecting the nodes which have to delete it is which which to be deleted is present in the list itself so what we have to do for that so for uh, one part if there is one node just delete uh, just save the value of head and just delete the head okay so means head of next means whichever value have present in the next uh, you know temp of next and uh, just delete it okay so head will just have temp of next and temp on delete okay we delete this similarly so we have to delete the first node now this is the main logic okay so what we have to do is traverse for n minus two lo two part and then uh, so what we are doing actually in the delete okay i haven't explained you there and directly go into the code so let me just explain it because there is link list so what we have to do here uh, suppose the node is chosen to be deleted is three so we have to delete this node so how are we gonna perform this uh, just think about for a logic for a moment okay i will all, i will explain suppose we have to delete this node means uh, we have not only have to remove this node from this part but we also have to uh delete it for free the space by using delete command you already know this part so uh, what we have to do first of all we save this value somewhere or we no, no need to save it because it's already present here so uh, suppose declare one temp variable and put the value and we, we don't have to do it actually so um, we have no need of doing this okay so just you use the logic here so for delete and date we have already traversing it and reaching it n minus one okay so t uh, suppose uh, any variable which you have to use to travel t will have 20 so first of all uh, we have to delete t of next so t, t of next first of all we have to point it the other node okay t of next t of next should be equal to what and this node t of next should be equal to okay so t of next you it can be done in any manner so i am showing you this manner okay i might have done in another manner okay at the at this point i am not not getting it what i have done in the code but uh, there can be any more than any way okay so just understand the logic here okay so what we have to put here we have to put the value address of this node or not and address of this node is present in the value of this node okay so we can easily do that so we have we can you know make the t point to t of next of next what will it do we know the rule of pointer here so it will just have the value of this node so it will now have value of 40. so now it will pointing to 40 here and nothing else to be done now just uh, we can do one more thing here um, t of next okay t of next is 30 t of next next make it as null okay and just delete the t of next uh, we have to save the value also okay so just uh, suppose temporary variable we save the t of next t of next so delete temp okay don't forget to delete this perform this operation it's very essential so 
temp will be deleted so in this way this operation is can be performed okay? my code be, might be showing some other logic because i haven't think about that logic at that time so it could be a case here okay so now let me show you the code and end the lecture here okay so the little part is just uh, what we are what we are doing here we are just saving the temp value at temp of next okay uh, temp2 we're declaring one pointer and temp of next is being saved in temp and temp of next uh, let just temp1 of next point to temp2 of next temp2 of next is what the other nodes which next value is been preserved and just delete the node okay so it can be done in this manner also so this is the case and just uh, we have to also show about the print function so just uh, what i am doing i'm just traversing uh, traversing using for loop creating a head uh, initializing it uh, till up to null last node and just incrementing and the point printing the data okay so hope this is clear to you guys now let me run run it for you okay you can see this so what what is actually doing it is uh, you know just uh, forget about this part early, first of all okay just for the explanation part okay forget about this part and just run it and up to insert the four nodes and just print the list this is the function we are doing so it will just print this value okay one two three four is printed now here uh, slash n and just what do you have to do here just insert at any position three and uh, and, and insert a position three and insert a value of minus one so after doing it let me see what what is happening here okay just comment this part uh, so it should one should be inserted between two and three okay let me see yeah, you can see three has been inserted and one has, minus one has been inserted even two and three. So our logic is run clearly. Now let me see the third, third part that is the election part. We are just deleting the position three. Okay. So position three is what? One, two, three, four, five. So position three is th minus one. So it must be deleted. So let's see. Let's delete it or not. And after this. Okay. so you can see we list the original list and one is one is deleted so in this way it's work so about the review of the code what you have to see that the very the you know delete delete function is missing delete and insert process so it should be included in this in this code uh, in this code otherwise everything is fine okay okay so thanks for thanks for watching guys see you